Flight delay is a first parametric insurance step that provides insurance against flight delays or cancellations. Flight delay is open sourced. You can find the code on GitHub and customize it according to the needs of your insurance project. Let's have a brief overview of what is under the hood of Etherisk flight delay. The solution uses Truffle. It is a smart contract development environment and testing framework for Ethereum-based applications. The file package.json contains all the commands we use for deploying and compiling contracts, preparing versions to be verified on Etherscan, and so on. Let's start with the contracts. There are seven contracts deployed to flight delay. Flight delay controller is used as a register. All the contracts are registered here. As our application is updatable, you can replace a contract on the go. All you need is to register a new version of the contract and register it in the controller. There is no need to customize it. You can only change names of variables if you think they're not suitable for your project. Flight Delay Database stores all the data. We would not recommend replacing this contract. You can change a contract that implements a certain logic, but it would require a lot of efforts to move the data. Flight Delay Ledger is the contract that receives premiums, makes payouts, and handles all the accounting tasks. There is also no need to customize it, except if you would like to rename variables. Flight Delay Access Controller is used to manage permissions. It determines what functions this or that smart contract can call. It also requires no customization. During customization, the main attention should be paid to these contracts. Flight Delay New Policy, Flight Delay Underwrite, Flight Delay Payout, Flight Delay Database. These contracts import flight delay constants, a contract with certain constants, and flight delay database model. All these contracts should be changed in accordance with the requirements of any specific case. A user sends his or her transaction to new policy function of the flight delay new policy contract. The first thing to customize is the parameters transferred within this transaction. These parameters are specific for any case. In our case, we receive a flight number, departure date, departure time, and arrival time. If you scroll down, you can see how these parameters are validated for this project. You should change how they're validated for your specific case. Then we save the data to the flight delay database contract. If you look at the flight delay database model contract, you can see the description of a risk, struct risk. There are specific fields that should be changed for your specific case. In our case, it is a flight number, departure date, arrival time, delay time, and so on. As soon as the data is saved to the database, we need to schedule an Oracle call. The flight delay underwrite contract calls for Oracleize. Oracleize signs our policy. What does it mean? We make an API call to the third-party service which provides us with statistics about this very flight. Based on this data, we can count payouts for an insurance case. Here you need to customize the callback function. It is the function which receives data from Oracleize. In this case, the function sends the following data array. In your case, there will be other data. You need to process this data and, depending on the result, call underwrite or decline it. So, customization means processing the parameters which you get from Oracleize. Flight delay constants is also worth mentioning. If you scroll down, you can see the constants here. These constants point out API endpoints which are called by Oracleize. The first call made by the flight delay underwrite contract receives a rate for the flight from the flight stat service. This long encrypted row contains credentials which should be sent to Oracleize. Detailed instructions on how to get this row are described in Oracleize documentation. So you need to modify these endpoints according to your case for flight delay underwrite and flight delay payout. 
In our case, the system makes another call to Oracleize after the planned time of flight arrival to check whether the flight was delayed. If there was a delay, Oracleize sends info about the time of the delay. You may not need this second call if your case is not a parametric insurance project, or it may be a call to a weather service, your internal CRM, etc. These constants are to be customized and point out the data providing services specific to your project. As soon as we receive flight statistics from Oracleize, the system decides if the policy should be signed or declined. If the policy is signed, the next call to Oracleize is scheduled to get the info about whether the flight is delayed or not. So this row can be removed if you don't need it in your specific case. The final data about the insurance case go to the flight delay payout. This is the next point to modify. Oracleize always sends an answer to the callback function. You need to find this function in Oracleize. There's a certain massive of data that needs to be processed according to your insurance case. Based on that data, the system makes a decision about payout. The payout function should implement the procedure of calculating insurance case payout. This can also be done by a third-party data providing service. To sum it up, modification of contract starts with the flight delay new policy contract namely with function new policy, by changing input parameters which are transferred to the transaction. Then we modify processing and validation of these parameters. Then we proceed with modification of the risk model in the flight delay database model contract according to the risk of any specific case. After that, we modify constants in the flight delay constants contract by pointing out data providers. Then we modify the callback function in the flight delay underwrite contract which gets data from Oracleize after the first call to the service. The data should be processed to get the decision whether the policy should be signed or declined. Then you should decide if you need the final call to the data provider, Oracleize in our case, to check if there was an insurance case. Then you need to modify the callback function in the flight delay payout contract, process the data from the final report, and define the payout function implementing the logic of calculation of insurance case payout. We are working on a new generic framework which will enable plugging in small product modules in a basic framework and easier customization of the whole system according to the needs of your specific case and business processes.